Well, good morning. <laughs> Duke is miraculously still around. I swear this dog just is holding on. He's, he's certainly not what he used to be, but uh, God bless him. Good morning, Duke. All right, well, I haven't done any videos of this summer's projects, mainly because I did a few videos of the retaining wall before, and nobody seemed real interested in those, so I guess that's just not what uh, people are wanting. I think mostly people like to see motorcycle stuff, and I'll give you plenty of that. But uh, anyway, this is this year's project, or this summer's project. We're well on our way to rebuilding this deck. And the, uh, the, the footprint of the deck essentially stayed the same, but uh, we're using this fancy synthetic deck board for a hopefully permanent uh, solution, no maintenance. This ties in to the retaining wall, which is obviously down here. By the way, my tomato plants got completely out of hand. I'm going to have to thin those out. But hey, looky there. We got us a good one. Anyway, so that is the deck. Part of the difficulty on this was the roof we put up, I don't know, 10 years ago, 12 years ago? And it really wasn't supported correctly, because I kind of got lazy when I put that up. So this project this summer involved redoing all of the structure. So the, the beam is new, the posts are new, the posts coming down from that roof are new, although they're in the same location as before. So you see these, you see the old piers? These are the old piers from the old beam and post system, and there was five of them. So the motivation here is I wanted to go from five to four because we are going to pour a big patio in all of this. There's going to be a fire pit over there and a, a big planter over there, all made out of that same keystone block stuff. All this is going to be patio. So I wanted fewer obstructions on the patio, which led me to redoing all of that, which was a little bit of a trick, getting the old posts and beams down and keeping the roof supported as we went. So that was kind of cool. We went ahead and rebuilt all the structure of the deck. All that blocking that you see, that's just there to force the joists to be perfectly flat to each other. It's tedious as hell putting that all in, but uh, you know we, we got it in. And uh, the result is that you know there's no waves in the deck. It's nice and nice and flat and even. Everything is really overbuilt. That that beam's bigger than it needs to be based on the span tables and all of that. Current fun. I need to bust out at least you know the first few inches of these these old piers. So my daughter gave me a Lowe's gift card for my birthday. So I went down and got that bad boy. And that makes pretty quick work out of this stuff. There was formerly a staircase coming down from this end. We wanted to get rid of that. We're only going to have the one stair on the other end. And there was a landing right here that's now right there. So I busted that up with that, uh, that big mall. And i got to tell you, that's some fun work. That was a riot. Good thing, too, because there's actually an old patio right under here. And I'm going to save a few bucks on my concrete guy and bust that up for him. So when we get Bobcat guy in here to skim and level and set the correct grade for all this, you know, this patio area, they won't have to bust that up. I'll have that done for them. So that is pretty much the project. The the wall that we put in last year is doing fine. Survived, survived a, a brutal winter just fine. Here's all the cutoffs we've got so far from the 
the deck material. You see, this is what it looks like. This is Azac deck board, and we're doing two two colors. This is called cedar. That's the sort of the main deck area. And this color here, I don't even know if the difference shows up. That's called mahogany, and that's what we're doing around the sort of the picture frame around it. So you notice the mahogany boards we got, they're not grooved. The cedar boards are grooved. There's the, that's the old beam. That was in three sections to start with. We didn't cut that up. Everything else is long gone. Got a huge dumpster and got rid of that a while back. This has been real slow going. I've had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life this summer that's kind of interfered. But this is really coming out nice. I'm very, very pleased. Just got this last section to do over here. We'll be done with that by the end of the weekend. I'm going to put aluminum railing all around here. So the so we've got the the blocking pre-installed. So we'll just lag bolt the railing right into the blocking. And then get get concrete guy in here and have him pour a monster patio. And at that point, the backyard wonderland should be pretty much complete. So that is the update. Have a good afternoon.